Hey, what's up everybody? It's AJ again, doing another walk around. And we have a brand new 2019 YXZ-1000R SEPSS. So it's the special edition, it has EPS, and it's Sport Shift. Uh, Sport Shift being the paddle shifters um, with the YCCS Yamaha chip controlled shift. Um, and it works really, really good. I am blown away. I haven't driven a YXZ for a little while. Luke and Mark have done a test ride in the past couple of years. Um, it's probably been since I've actually planted my butt in one of these things and gone for a good haul and ridden all day like I have right now. It's probably been, I don't know, two, maybe three years. Just haven't had one, haven't had the opportunity to do it. Luke and Mark snagged them away. This is the 2019, so it's been significantly overhauled. It's got uh, visual updates. Um, it's got suspension updates, it's got motor internal updates, it's got all kinds of stuff that's new. But some of the really um, really prominent, uh, well-known features, so it's got the RC2s, it's got high-speed, low-speed compression, rebound adjuster down low, um, it's got a dual spring setup on it. So you can see down here, you got your uh, spring spacer right here, the isolator between the two. So it's a dual, uh, dual spring setup all the way around. Those are RC2s, 2.5 inch bodies very serious shocks and then down in there you can see something silver and the brake lines are no longer rubber anywhere on this thing they are all steel braid <coughs> they run a larger uh, brake caliper larger rotor larger piston and larger master cylinder all the way around so the braking on this thing is much better and that is one thing that we did complain a little bit about in the past is just to get yourself slowed down um, sometimes it didn't didn't do it as quickly as we would like also uh, when you're crawling and on rocks and in technical terrain, it just wouldn't hold a stop as well as we would have liked. There was a little bit of um, just kind of sponginess in the brake pedal. Maybe that was due to some of the rubber brake lines, but obviously they went overboard here and, and just took it to the next level. So really great stopping power. Um, has these really nice beadlock rims on it. They're a super, super tidy design, 29 inch Bighorn 2.0s. Um, honestly, the rims on this thing, I think Yamaha in 2019 has some of the best looking factory special edition rims in the industry. I think honestly they, well, right now I can't think of anybody else who's got rims that look this good. I think I can say it hands down, Yamaha does have the best looking uh, rims this season. Um, they're just really, really good looking. They look like aftermarket stuff. Looks like something you'd go out and pay for, not a manufacturer's premium rim that looks uh, a little bit on the conservative side. These ones are sweet. Um, interior has changed just a little bit. This one has nice uh, stitching on the seats and everything. Um, one thing I want to tell you, I hadn't put much time in <clears throat> on the Sport Shift with the uh, the YCCS. This is a super impressive package. Honestly, I'm blown away with how good this thing works. For the for the horsepower numbers, which everybody looks at and goes, oh well, it's nowhere near the turbos. This thing is crazy fun and super fast. I mean, you're revving the bags off of it. I'll talk about this stuff back here in a sec. <clears throat> you're revving the bags off the thing, getting like. 10 and a half, 11,000 RPM on there, and it's not just on there for show, it's on there for go. You pound shifts, you can dump the clutch uh, by using the, um, the launch control sequence. Um, it shifts from forwards to reverse super easy. As long as you touch the brake, it'll go forwards reverse. You can put it in neutral and make noise if you want. Um, but when I put it in four wheel drive, I run it with the power steering, uh, or sorry, the power steering is always on. What am I talking about? When I put it in four wheel drive, and I'm absolutely just grabbing gears and going crazy, drifting the thing, putting it through corners and whatnot. The power steering on this thing is incredible. Doesn't feel like it's in four wheel drive. Never at any time feels like you're having to work too hard to go through the you know, steering on it or whatever. I left it in four wheel drive most of the day and usually on everybody else's rigs, I'm leaving them in two wheel drive because I just don't like the feeling that sometimes you, know, you get really aggressive and all of a sudden you can feel the front wheels starting to pull or ratchet or just shake a little bit and shimmy through the drive line. This thing does none of that. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the Sport Shift though. It is a lot of fun and it shifts as soon as you tap that thing. <clears throat> because it's Yamaha chip controlled, you don't, have to, you don't have to let off the gas. I mean, literally just grab shifts, boom, boom, boom. It downshifts hard. It'll break the rear tires, you know, lock them up just a little bit as you're going through the shifts and really, really hitting them hard, which I like because I don't want something that, that feels um, too automated or too electronic. I want it to downshift and, and downshift uh, prematurely if I'm asking it to so you know it brings the rpm up a little high and I want to feel that way I want to feel like it's a real manual transmission and it is uh, it's just that it's electronically shifting that thing um, out back I mean you got the the sweet triple cylinder it sounds so good when you're in the cab there isn't any other no other 
side by side in the industry right now makes as good of a noise as this thing does. It just, it's got this real clean, nice, and I'm saying wine in a positive way, but just this sweet triple cylinder wine to it, that sounds great. I mean, if we put an exhaust on this thing, it would, yeah, it it's impressive, works good. Suspension, exceptional, really, really nice. And here's one thing, they went with 29 inch rims on this thing. <coughs> they changed the gear ratio so it's 7% lower gear ratio across the board, but first gear is 24% lower gear ratio. So no longer is the YXZ just a dune runner or a sand runner. This thing, I've been out on the trails all day long. Yeah, we're playing in a little bit of a pit here, you know, just a little bit of a fun area, but that was just for a second. We've been running out on the trails and in the trees all day long, as you'll see in the test ride later this season, and it is freaking awesome. I, I think this may be and I'm, I'm stepping out pretty far here, but I think this might be my favorite side-by-side -side this year so far. And, and I w I'm shocked to say that because I didn't expect it. I definitely didn't expect it. Now, not that there's anything wrong with a YXE, but in the past, it's just felt too dunish for me. It hasn't been, uh, hasn't been as much uh, of, of kind of a trail rig as I'd like it to be. So out back, they've changed everything too. This is now your rad back here, and we can pop this little cover off, show you. So, got your rad and it's huge it goes down these side vents too you can see it underneath there all the way across the back 30 percent greater cooling capacity 300 percent better cooling flow thanks to dual electric fans that you can see up there i'm not sure if they're made by spall or not but uh dual electric fans in the back you got your air filters up top and this does have a dual air filter on it <coughs> but they've changed the intake back here i mean look at that thing it's just grabbing air like crazy um but for anybody who wants to put big tires on this thing, put a lift kit on and go play in the mud, you're prepped and ready to go. I mean, it's got high air intake, it's got a high rad on it on the back. There's, there's nothing holding this thing back from being an absolute mud beast. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I know I sound really excited and it's because I am. And there's few times that I'm really, really shocked by something. This I am definitely shocked by. Actually, I'll be honest, Yamaha's products this year have taken it to the next level. Their special edition Grizzly with that square tire setup, um, you know, those big tires on it, the, uh, I can't remember what they are, Maxxis Zilla, Zilla MU01s, I think. Um, that vehicle, or that, that ATV really shocked me. This rig shocks me. Um, I, I'm really impressed, I'm super happy. And I'm not just saying that uh, to send people out and get them into dealer showrooms, I'm telling you, this rig, I would buy one of these for myself and, and that's saying a lot because I don't say that about too many vehicles. Um, we get to test a lot of stuff, we get to see the good and the bad and the, the flaws and the, the imperfections and I'm right now, besides maybe a bit of jump when you go from forwards to reverse, it does dump into gear sometimes a little bit hard uh, and you got to make sure that you touch the brake when you're going from forwards to reverse or it won't do it. Uh, but that's just something that you got to learn, I mean that just takes a couple minutes to, to get used to. And as long as you're easy on the throttle, um, it doesn't get so jumpy. But th I mean, those are those are petty things, and that's stuff that after an hour in the driver's seat, I'm totally used to and able to iron out. Um, yeah, this is this is a sh uh, total total shock to me, and I'm loving it. I'm loving the YXZ, the 2019. This is the premium model, so it's the SS, SE, EPS. There's a whole bunch of acronyms in there, but I'll tell you what, holding it WOT is sure giving me a buzz today. And I'm, I'm really amped. I mean, I, I guess on an SS, what can I say negative about it? I think for the package that you get here, it'd be nice to have a roof on it. There's a lot of other manufacturers who are popping roofs on and doing stuff like that. I think for this one, it would look really, really aggressive with like a nice blue colored uh, matching roof or even a white roof on it or something that just kind of, you know, adds something cool. Um, wouldn't have even have to be aluminum, you know, it doesn't have to be like the Maverick uh, XRC or anything like that. Just just a nice poly roof on the top would really change the way um, it looks. And a roof is like number one accessory I think that people are buying. Maybe that's why they don't put one on because they want to sell it to you. Um, but retail value of this rig is significantly below an XRC, so we're talking much different here. Um, I do want to take this and Luke and I go out one day and do a little bit of head-to-head -head battle <coughs> with some time trials. Uh, XRC compared to this. Yes, we're talking 173 horsepower to arguably what, 110, 115 with the YXZ. I know that's a big difference, but when you put the power through a manual transmission, you're getting it to the ground in a whole different way and you're getting it to the ground way more efficiently. And honestly, the seat of the pants feel of this rig 
is way, way better than anybody else's 100 to 110 horsepower CVT driven side by side. This thing feels way more stout than that. Um, am I going to say that it feels the same as 173 horsepower? No, because it doesn't feel that. But the way that I can shift and get the ratio that I want when I want it, instead of having to wait for the CVT to back shift or, you know, get in the right, uh, the right area on the, on the sheaves, um, I, I think there's benefit to this, to this gear on gear manual, manual automatic, whatever you want to call it, auto manual. Um, but the, the YCC S Yamaha chip controlled shifting, um, technology, <laughs> Uh, I think there's benefit to it and I want to go head to head with Luke and see which one we can actually uh, pull a better time on because this thing works super good. I'm really excited about it. Go check it out at your dealerships. Um, if you can get in a demo one, do it because if you haven't ridden one of these things before and you're thinking, oh, they just, they're just for the dunes, you know, that's where I see all the pictures of them with big sand tires and stuff. Not so. This thing is ready for mud, it's ready for trees, it's ready for trail, it's ready for whatever you're gonna throw at it. And this thing is like, uh, if I had a stamp here that said like dirt tracks approved, I would put it on it right now because this thing is definitely dirt tracks approved. It's AJ approved, it's uh, it's hauling some serious donkey approved today. We were just carrying some ridiculous ground speed. We put it in water, um, water up to like the bottom of the YXZ line today and no issues ran it back and forth through a swamp a bunch of times i mean we've done a whole bunch with it and it just keeps coming back for more and my grin keeps getting bigger and bigger so well done yamaha uh this is definitely the best iteration of the yxz i've ever seen i've ever sat in i've ever driven um and yeah 2019 for yamaha has been a pretty kick arse year and i'm really really impressed with their products they're doing a great job so uh, props to them and can't wait till 2020 i mean these guys are they're pushing hard and uh, I don't know, if Honda's got something coming in the way of the Talon, <laughs> it better be really good. Because this thing, this thing is, yeah, is significantly impressive. And for Honda to do something that's going to one-up this, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Anyways, this is the 2019 YXZ 1000R SS EPS SE. AJ out.